Hello, I'm Jill Chokel, the Executive Director of Student Achievement for the Fordson Feeder Track. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce the principal of Fordson High School, Mrs. Hiam El Kadri. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to begin with the names because we have a long list, as you can imagine. Nadia Abouzid. Hi, my name is Nadia, and I decided to bring Mrs. Cunningham because not only was she my social worker, but we used to call each other. She would call me her daughter at school, and I'd call her my mom. <laughs> and every time I was in her office, not only did she make me feel like I was at home, but she was the best shoulder to ever lean on, and I couldn't thank you enough. Leanne Abusi. Hi, uh, my name is Leanne Abusi. Tonight, I would like to honor my first grade teacher, Miss Maru. Elementary school teachers are the building blocks of every student, and Miss Maru was my building block and my mentor. She instilled the drive and passion for education in me. And I would like to thank her for that. I'd also like to thank her for allowing me to come back and volunteer um, and uh, for attending tonight's honor night, honors night with me. And I love you, Ms. Maru. Thank you. Hattie Abdullah. Hi, everyone. It's been a long four years. When we first got our schedules freshman year, I was excited, I was excited to know who this Mr. Dix guy was. Not gonna lie, but that year went really, really slow. Sophomore year came along, and I see his name reappear on my schedule. Now you guys could guess what happens junior year. This guy showed up again. <laughs> Senior year comes along, same thing happens. When you have a teacher for four years, you become more than a teacher, you become a friend. And I like to thank Mr. Dix for being a friend. Thank you. Mariam Abdallah. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mariam Abdallah, and I just wanted to recognize a teacher tonight that doesn't get as much recognition as she deserves, Ms. Bays. Honestly, in her class, I, I know everyone says like they have a teacher who taught them how to work hard, but she really taught me the meaning of diligence and what it means to go, over, to go after something that you want. And I did so much math, I think it became the bane of my existence. But I learned that sometimes in life, it may feel like no one wants, to, wants you to achieve or there's people who aren't supporting you, but it's time for you to prove them wrong and to just keep working and it really pays off in the end. So thank you, Ms. Bates, for everything. And I really appreciate it. Zahra Abdu. Hello, everybody. My name is Zahra Abdu, and I would like to, I'm honoring Ms. Shami today for many reasons. Ms. Shami has always been a supportive and amazing teacher. Going to school every day and knowing that I get to go, get to, go to Ms. Shami's room has made school very enjoyable. Ms. Shami has been one of the greatest teachers I've ever had, and I'm truly thankful to have a, have a role model like Ms. Shami. Thank you. Yassine Abdullah. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Castaneda's is the most hardworking, passionate teacher I've ever had, and uh, no hard feelings other Mr. K. Nonetheless, his love for physics is unparalleled, and I hope to have the same mentality as him in whatever future I hope to pursue. Thank you. Zainab Alawiya. Good evening, everyone. Um, I chose Mr. Miller, and the only reason why I chose him was he was my middle school teacher. And I remember having test anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis. And every time, like right now, I have anxiety as well. But just like he told me in eighth grade that you got this girl, and he just told me the same thing right now. And um, I thank him because he's the reason why I'm here. He's the reason I succeeded throughout my high school. And um, I hope every teacher is just like him. Thank you. Hasna al Dayas. Uh, Hasna Hasna al Dayas. Okay. Khalid al Ghazali.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to honor my favorite math teacher, Ms. Bayes. Uh, she's been a great help to me the last two years, and uh, she helped me uh, choose the college that I want to go to and become the person that I really want to be. And for that, I would really want to thank her for that. Thank you, Ms. Bayes. Kanza El Hadi. Hello, today I would like to honor my seventh grade journalism teacher, Ms. Kincaid. Ms. Kincaid has taught me skills that no normal class could ever teach me. These skills range from interviewing total strangers to writing published articles. She has instilled a passion for knowledge and love of writing, which continues within me, and this passion and love opens up new doors of opportunity. Sarah L. Hajj. Good evening, everyone. Today, I would like to honor my pre-calculus 11th grade teacher, Mr. Dix. He told me that competing with yourself is a, great way, is a great way to accomplish goals. Thank you, Mr. Dix, for being a very supportive teacher and who truly cares about your students. Thank you. Ali Hassani. Um, good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'd like to honor Ms. Shami, my AP literature teacher at Fortson High School. Let me, start, let me start off by saying that Ms. Shami strives to better her, let me start off by saying that Ms. Shami strives to better her students on levels way beyond the English curriculum. While she does harbor a vast knowledge of the English language, she has taught me much more than literature. Ms. Shami is a teacher who genuinely cares about her students and the success of her community. She has a passion unparalleled by any teacher that I've ever met. She is someone that I'm able to confide in and take advice from. So thank you, Ms. Shami. Fatima Ali. Isra Ali. Hi. Um, I chose a teacher that's more than a teacher. He was a friend to me, and he taught me more than pre-cog. He once told me, if you put your heart and time into anything, you can achieve anything, and that really helped. Thank you, Mr. Dix. Mariam Ali. <clears throat> Tonight I am honoring my AP physics teacher, Mr. K. I cannot begin to thank this man enough. Mr. K helped me my junior year with physics before I was even his student. Later that year I became a part of his honors physics class and I couldn't be more grateful. Not only did he inspire me to take AP physics but to also take AP calculus with his brother. Never in a million years would I consider going into engineering and getting a PhD in physics. I've never had a teacher believe in me as wholeheartedly as Mr. K. You gave me my future, Mr. K, and I don't know how to thank you enough. Abir El Maji. Hi, everybody. Tonight, I would like to honor my physics teacher, Mrs. Shabib. I am honoring her for many several different reasons, one of them being she's one of the most kind-hearted people I've met in my 12 years in school. She always made her students her number one priority and made sure to make learning fun for all of her students. She never failed to have the best experience, best ideas, and the best jokes. Solving problems and equations has never been my thing, especially not at 8 a.m. in the morning. But Ms. Shabib changed that for me. Thank you for being one of the best teachers that I've had, and thank you for being such a happy and optimistic person. Fatmi El Maji. Tonight I'm here to honor. Tonight I'm here to honor my high school art teacher, Mr. Bazzi. He has inspired me to become more creative and get out of my comfort zone to try and experience with different artistic art styles and techniques. I would like to say thank you so much. The dear El Maji. Good evening, everyone. Tonight I would like to honor my physics teacher, Mrs. Shabib. Thank you, Mrs. Shibi, for being an amazing teacher. I've always wanted to learn more about physics, and I got to learn a lot in her class. She always made learning really fun in her class. I've <laughs> Thank you for being a really sweet and understanding teacher, Mrs. Shibi. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ali El Mehdi.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I would like to honor Mr. Dix, a teacher I had for three out of the four years I have attended Fortson. As an incoming freshman, I chose to be a part of his class and it was by far the best decision I've ever made. I was not a strong math student coming out of middle school, but I can assure you, he made me a stronger person, not only academically, but by also helping me with my personal problems and staying with me late after school. Since I met him, he's the one who's always told me to challenge myself and always push past what you think you're capable of doing. Because of him, I am taking AP Calculus for my senior year, and for that, I thank him truly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Sumaya el -Wad. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sumaya el -Wad, and tonight I would like to honor my art teacher, Ms. Curtis. Without her, I thought I would never be able to accomplish what I like, even if it seems impossible. She taught me to never stress over the simple things, rather to embrace every single moment, whether it's good or bad. Not only did she make my love for art grow, she even helped me embrace my talent. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ali El Zayadi. Good evening, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents and most significantly my mother for always expecting the best out of me. Without her, none of this would have been possible. And the second person I'd like to thank is my wrestling coach, Hassan Berry, for always expecting the best out of me and believing in me, especially when I didn't believe in myself. He taught me that as long as I believed in myself, anything is possible. He, thank you. Fatima L. Zergani. Hi, tonight I'll be honoring my 10th grade Arabic teacher, Mr. Saab. First off, I want to thank you for having a major impact on my life and for always believing in me. You're the reason why I accomplished so many things in high school. I always enjoyed your class, and I also want to thank you for taking time out of your day and being here. Thank, thank you. you. Ahed Anbari. Hi. Uh, I'd like to direct my gratitude towards Ms. Robin Armstrong, my counselor. <laughs> Um, she's, she's helped me uh, throughout my high school life, as well as transitioning through high school to college early, early on. Thank you. Fatima Aldi. Hello, my name is Fatima Aldi, and the teacher that I wanted to recognize tonight is Mr. Dix, because he inspires and challenges me to push past to push myself past what I believe my limits are. He takes the time to focus on each and every individual student, and he truly loves his job as a teacher. Thank you. Mohammed Awada. Good evening, everyone. Over the past four years, Mrs. Ayub has served not only as my teacher and club advisor, but also as my mentor, role model, and friend. I knew I could go to her whenever I needed something, and she would always agree to help, both inside and outside of the classroom. Mrs. Ayub has allowed me to grow as both a student and a man. She has supported and inspired me to become the better person I am today, and I would like to thank her for having such a profound influence on my education and life. Thank you. Aya Awadala. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'm honoring my AP Lit teacher, Mrs. Durfee. Although this is the first year that I have Mrs. Durfee as a teacher, I've known her for a while and I consider her a friend. Mrs. Durfee provides us with something we cannot get in any traditional classroom, and that is real discussions about real problems and how they can affect us. She treats us as if, she were, as if we were her own children, and she considers us a family. Thank you, Mrs. Durfee, for making my senior year an amazing experience. Hara Banoon. Assalamualaikum everyone. Um, even though all my teachers had a special impact on me, a wise man once told me, there are three types of people in this world. A knowledgeable scholar, those who are educated for status and survival, and the mob mentality bar barbarians. They bend with every wind that blows and are not enlightened by the light of knowledge, nor do they stand by solid point or fact. Thank you to the teacher, friend, and father figure who not only taught me art, but instilled in me the values that have carved out my identity and personality. Thank you, Mr. Bazzi. Jenna Bazoom. Good 
Good evening. I invited my counselor, Ms. Carey, here tonight because she constantly encourages me to take courses that challenge me and help me grow as a student. She motivates me and is always there when I need her. And for that, I wanted to thank her. Fadwat Bazzi. Good evening. I am honored to have my allied health teacher, Ms. Saad, from the Michael Berry Career Center here with me tonight. Ms. Saad is always there for all of her students whenever we need her, whether it may be help in the classroom or on a personal note. She is more than just a teacher to us, and I truly, and I truly believe all of her students would agree. Each and every day, she pushes us to be to our, high, to our highest potential and motivates us to yield our knowledge and worth ethic both in and out of the classroom. Thank you. Lama Bezi. Najah Bezi. Hi, my name is Najah Bezi, and I'm here to honor Mr. Farhood. Over the last few years, he's not only encouraged me to be a great student in the classroom, but also as an athlete on the tennis courts. He's really encouraged me to finish my uh, education, and I'd really like to thank him for that. Amema Bezi. Good evening. I would like to first thank the Dearborn Public School District for creating an excellent learning atmosphere for its students throughout my educational career. Today, I would like to honor an individual who has played an immense role in helping me achieve my educational goals for about 12 years now. Mr. Bazzi has allowed me to realize that education and only education is what will always protect me in life. The fact that he was always there for me, encouraging me to never ever give up, no matter how hard the challenge is, has indeed helped me excel in the highest level of classes. It is the determination and courage that I've received from Mr. Bazzi that has shaped me into the individual that I am today. Mr. Bazzi is not only a role model, a friend, or even a teacher, but most of all, someone who I'm truly proud to call my father. Thank you. Zahra Bazzi. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to thank Ms. Saleh, who is not only my sixth grade teacher, but also a great friend. She's helped me become the person I am today and has helped me continue on the right path. Thank you. Hussein Bumrad. Hello, my name is Hussein Bumrad and I'd like to honor Mr. Dix today. I've had him as a high school teacher for three years, but not only was he my teacher, but he was also a friend. Every day after school and before school, he was willing to stay after or go early just to help me with what I needed in math. And I'd like to thank him for that. And thank you for making my high school experience much better and easier. Fatima Buhamden. Um, Ms. Shaver has been my technology teacher for four years, and although she might come off as intimidating, it's just because of the workload she has. She does teach three different AP courses. But with all that workload, over the years, she's helped me develop an interest in programming and encouraged me to apply for scholarships and enter competitions. So thank you, Ms. Shaver, for introducing me to a whole new subject with endless possibilities. Mohammed Shamsuddin. Good evening. Today, I'm recognizing Mr. Constantinidis um, for his constant support and encouragement on a daily basis. Mr. K believed in me more than I believed in myself. He uh, talked to the counselors and allowed me to take AP Calculus without even taking pre-calc. That's how much belief he had in me. He's by far the most dedicated teacher to his craft, and um, that's why he has the highest AP scores in the district, more so than Dearborn or Crestwood. Uh oh, uh oh, get me in trouble. Dima Sharara. Good evening. On this special night, we are granted a chance to thank an instructor that has made a positive influence in our lives. Today, I would like to thank Mr. Dix for making his math class the most easiest and above all, the funnest environment. For two years in a row, I, I looked forward to going to his class to see him smiling and helping every student to have the same chance to succeed. In all, I had the pleasure of knowing an inspirational individual who dedicated majority of his time to help his students first reach their goals. Mr. Dix, you are a teacher like no other. Thank you very much. Fatima Shayato. 
Good evening, everyone. Today I had the honor of bringing Mr. Dix with me. Not only was he my teacher for two years, but he was also my friend and my family. And I would like to thank, thank him today for being what I, uh, in my opinion, the perfect example of a mentor, someone who only puts you up and shows you your weaknesses, but shows you your potential as well. Um, I thank you for being there for me every step of the way. I wouldn't have it any other way. Wafa Dabaja. Hello. Um, today I'm honoring not only my sixth grade teacher, but basically my favorite school mom. Ms. Salda was my go-to person all throughout middle school for guidance and just about everything. She truly cared for me and helped me realize my full potential to do whatever I put my mind to. If it weren't for Ms. Sala, I wouldn't be anywhere near the person I am today in every aspect of my life. Thank you. Thank you. Ali Darwish. Good evening. It's my distinct privilege to have had Mr. Dix as my pre-calculus and Algebra II teacher for two years. Um, I remember the first thing he ever told me when I was taking his test, the first test I've ever taken in uh, Fortin High School. He told me, turn in your summer school application. <laughs> that one sentence changed my life. <laughs> After I had Mr. Dix tell me that one statement, he has pushed me to be the most competitive person I can ever imagine. Not only does he inspire me to push myself in, in math and try to score my best, he has also been my mentor in chess and inspired me to find the, the chess club for Fortson High School. He has been the best math teacher I can ever imagine, and he's the best teacher ever. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dix. Kareem DeBanzo. Hello, everyone. Tonight I'm here to honor my, uh, my AP Lang teacher, Mrs. Howell. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love everything about Mrs. Howell's class. From writing to the, in the late language arts book we had, to writing essays, they were my favorite, but that's not why I brought uh, Ms. Howell here. I didn't bring her here because of all the great things she did make me a better writer. I brought her here because of all the great things she made me to be a better person. She taught me how to be intellectually curious and how to truly cherish learning for what it is. She taught me the value of knowledge, and I think that's more valuable than the five on the AP exam that she helped me to achieve. She was kind through all, everything she, she did, and she taught me everything that I could use to better myself as a person and move forward. Thank you, Ms. Hall. Thank you. De Deanna L. Dorawi. Good evening, everyone. Today I want to honor my sixth grade teacher, Ms. Salo, from Woodworth Middle School. Every day that I walked into her classroom, I felt like I was at home and I was at peace. Um, Ms. Salo inspired me with her enthusiasm, whether it was about life or whether when she was teaching. Her dedication every day was by far, um, it was amazing, it was amazing. And um, her, mentorship, her mentorship made me want to strive from that year forward as a student. More importantly, she was the only teacher that I felt comfortable opening up to, and she was very loving and supporting about that. And I truly want to thank her from the bottom of my heart. Fatima El Fasir. Hi, my name is Fatima El Fasir, and I'm very privileged to recognize such an inspirational teacher as Mr. Constantinidis. Mr. Constantinidis taught me to push harder and that success doesn't always come easy. He helped me plant motivation into me so that I was able to harvest strength. He taught me many lessons, one of them being AP Calculus is life. <laughs> Sally L. Gadaf. Walking into high school, I was so afraid of what classes to take. I didn't think I could survive these four years. Luckily, I had Mrs. K to guide me and was there whenever I needed her. She truly inspired me to be who I was today. So thank you for that. Rashid El Ghul. Good evening. He taught me how to compete. He taught me how to succeed. He taught me how to live when I could barely breathe. There seemed like a time where I kept running into a wall of bricks, but he helped guide me through it. 
He's the man, Mr. Dix. <laughs> Melinda Elmazi. Hi everyone, I'm Melinda Almazi, and today I'm here with the Dr. Gillies. <laughs> I picked Dr. Gillies for the sole reason that she is so passionate about teaching and her love for math and chemistry is unlike anything that I've ever seen. She's easily one of the most intelligent women that I've ever met and she inspires me to be such a great person every single day. So thank you Dr. Gillies for being not only my mentor but one of my greatest friends. I love you and I'm going to miss you so much. Zainab Al Musawi. Good evening, everyone. For two years, I had the honor of being one of Mr. Dix's students. And throughout these years, not only was I taught by an amazing teacher, but I had gained an extra family member and made a friend. Mr. Dix, to me, was the epitome of a kind, respectful, and altruistic educator who truly made an impact on my life. And for that, I would like to thank him. So thank you. Ali Paki. Good evening. Uh, today I chose to honor my fourth grade elementary school teacher um, who, ha who has been an educator for 19 years. Ms. Harmon has been there for me at one of my toughest, uh, toughest points in my life and was a source of motivation and comfort. Thank you and happy retirement. Thank you. <laughs> Ali Farhat. Hi, I'm Ali Farhat, and tonight I chose to honor my close friend, Mr. Neck. I came into high school confused, worried, and afraid about all the challenges I'd have to overcome. But ever since the very first tennis meet, and later on to the A-push days, I can say with complete confidence that Mr. Neck has made high school a lot easier and more fun for me. And for that, I'm thankful and grateful to have him as a teacher. Naveen Fawaz. I am honoring Ms. Nora today because she has been so much more than just a teacher to me. She has been a mentor, a friend, and an inspiration. Whenever I receive good news, she's the first person I want to tell because her genuine reactions and kind words push me to exceed my limits. She believes in me more than I believe in myself, and for that I am forever grateful. Isa Ghalib. Good evening, and Masai al Khair parents. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents, Mama and Baba. Thank you for everything. I know uh, these last couple of years have been tough. Um, you know, 10 years ago, my closest friends, they wouldn't know that um, I had a speech impediment. I wouldn't be able to say um, th uh, thuper or superintendent, right? But if it wasn't for this man right here, Mr. Hobbins, um, he, he's the reason why um, I'm able to speak the English, uh, English language correctly. You know, um, something I would like to do in my future is pursuing a, a public speaking career. And if it wasn't for Mr. Hobbins, I wouldn't be able to do that. Able to do that so I thank you. Thank you. Jenna Hasham. Hi, everyone. Today I'm here to honor my eighth grade teacher, Mr. Saad. Mr. Saad has not only taught me that there is more to education than the textbook, but also there is more to being a student than grades. So thank you for teaching me every lesson that has made me the student I am today. Mariam Hasham. Hello, my name is Mariam Hasham, and today I'm here to honor fourth, one of Forts and High School's liaisons, Ms. Zainab Ali. She's been a major impact on me throughout my four years of high school and she's been a mentor to me for school and personal related issues. No matter what the situation is, Ms. Ali is always willing to go above and beyond to help out. I've always felt as if my education and personal wellness were one of Ms. Ali's top priority. I couldn't be more thankful for her. Marwa Hasham. Hello everyone, my name is Marwa Hasham and today I have with me my AP Physics teacher, Mr. K. A great teacher teaches from the heart. I've heard this quote countless of times before, but I never truly applied it to anyone until I walked into Mr. K's class the first day of my junior year. He started off by telling us that the fact that we have made it this far proves we are the smartest in the school. From this, 
I could see the passion he had for teaching and the effort he, he was willing to put in to make sure every student succeeds. A year later, I decided I was ready to take on AP Physics. Now that that year is over, I can confidently say that I didn't just take on AP Physics. I took on responsibility, I learned to have an open mind, and most importantly, to love what I do. These are just a few of the many great qualities that I learned from Mr. K and are valuable life lessons for my years ahead. Thank you so much, Mr. K. You have truly placed your footprint on my pathway to education. Ali Haider. Good evening, everyone. Mr. You, you're a teacher. Not just any ordinary teacher. You're extraordinary. You don't go only the extra mile. You go the extra step and the extra hour. You taught me that persistence is key in everything that I do, and without it, I would fail. You taught me that 99% is only halfway there. You haven't just taught me key things in life, but you've outreached to your community, and you've become a role model for everyone in this room, and I would like to say thank you very much. Sana Hamad. Good evening, guys. Today I'm here to honor my Ms. Kostovsky, who has been my counselor for all four years of high school. She was the one who pushed me to achieve all the things I wanted to achieve in high school, and thanks to her, I was able to accomplish many amazing things and open up many doors for me, who I th which I thought I would never go through in my entire high school journey. So thank you. Mohammed Hamid. It is an absolute privilege to be standing here honoring my tennis coach for the past four years, Mr. Jamie Nack. What, from the moment I met him, he always had a cheery mood, a great sense of humor, and an unmatched care for his students and players alike. Little did we know that when Mr. Nack preached honesty on the tennis courts and within the classroom, he was truly helping us become better players, students, people. Thank you. Ali Hamoud. Good evening, everyone. This afternoon, I'd like to thank my wonderful, the wonderful Ms. Rana Alawiye for helping me become the person I am today. Ms. Alawiye offered me nothing but great and positive intentions throughout my life and my high school career. She taught me about the meaning of success and life, but she taught me about the meaning of success, and uh, she still doesn't know my AP exam score, but that's not relevant. Thank you. <laughs> Hassan Hamoud. Hello. Tonight, I would love to honor Mr. K for not only being the greatest AP Calc teacher of all time, but for being a great mentor. Not only did he make me the best student possible, but he made me to, he developed me as a great person. And I can never thank him enough for that. Fatima Hassan. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to thank one of my middle school mentors who helped motivate me through all sports. Sports. She not only taught me to be confident and believe in myself, but told me the sky's the limit. She never accepted anything but the best from me, which made me excel in every aspect of my life. Ms. Fawaz embedded that we are students first and athletes second. She didn't push us to win, but rather made sure we exceeded in our personal best each and every day. I took the qualities she taught me and applied them in the classroom and in my daily life. Thank you, Ms. Fawaz. I'll take your lessons and carry them throughout my life. Ihab Hassan. Good, good, even, good evening, everyone. My name is Ihab Hassan, and I'm here to honor my seventh grade language arts teacher, Ms. Weedike. Uh, Ms. Wiedike made my seventh grade year a, comfort a comfortable place for me. She she taught me she taught me what she taught me that to smile when you smile you you make everyone else happy too. So by being happy, you're making everyone else happy. She taught me how to be friendly. She taught me how to write, and uh, I just want to I can't really thank her any more than I can. I just thank you. Susan Hatta. I 
I'm here to honor my seventh grade language arts teacher, Ms. Donna Berenger. So Ms. Donna Berenger's class was my first, um, ex it's the first time I was exposed to a class of rigor, but also allowed for me to let go of my creative outlet. And then after class, I was always able to come to her and talk to her about any issues I was having. Ms. Berenger is the first person who comes to mind when I think about a mother figure. And so I'm very grateful for her. Mustafa Jaber. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to honor my AP Lang teacher, Ms. Howell. Ms. Howell forced me to open my mind and look at things from a different perspective, which in turn made me a better student and ultimately a better person. Uh, I just want Ms. Howell to know that you played a major role in my success. Thank you. Noor Jamaladeen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I am honoring my art teacher, Ms. Curtis. Without her, I wouldn't be here today. Because of her, I'm able to have a spectacular and successful senior year. She's made my senior year at Fortson High School unforgettable. Thank you. Nada Jaredat. Good evening, everyone. Today, I chose to honor Mr. Hargraves, my chemistry teacher. Mr. Hargraves has taught at Fortson for many years. And in those years, he's taught us lessons beyond the books. He's truly a teacher who believed in his students before they even believed in themselves. Thank you, Mr. Hargraves, for pushing me to reach my fullest potential. And I wish you have a great time in China and a happy retirement. Malak Joma. Hello, everyone. I'd like to honor my teacher, Ms. Hassoun. Ms. Hassoun was not only a teacher to me, but was also a role model, and even an older sister. She continuously pushed me to pursue my education while teaching me the importance of being a good individual, and I'd like to thank her for that. Thank you. Sapa Khalil. As Gandhi said, be the change you want to be in the world. I would like to thank Mrs. Karamuchi for giving me the encouragement and the platform to be that change. Thank you for never doubting me. And thank you for always believing that I can be something in the future. Thank you. Zara Mackey. Good evening, everyone. My name is Zahra Mackey, and tonight I would like to honor Mr. Anthony. I have known Mr. An Anthony for only two semesters, but I can honestly say that he has truly made an impact on me and my future in ways that he does not even realize. I never saw myself being fond of government and economics, but he made them so engaging and so applicable that I now plan on looking into a minor in economics. Thank you, Mr. Anthony, for everything that you have done for me this year. I've enjoyed our current issues, articles, to our Game of Thrones conversations, and I hope you always <laughs> know how <laughs> appreciative I am for having you as a teacher and my friend. Mohammed Mansur. Hello and good evening. I wanted to take a minute to honor Ms. Zainab Zreek, who not only has been Mikey Club advisor and a language arts teacher at Fortson High School, but my mentor and the leader I've looked up to for four years. Ms. Zainab Zreek is a supportive mother of two beautiful children. She continues to make a difference every Monday on her broadcasting show called Make a Difference Monday, in which she showcases important individuals from around Southeast Michigan. Ms. Zainab Zreek showed me that together we could positively affect the lives of others when we went on an international service trip to Costa Rica. Th this realization had a profound and lasting effect on me. It gave me a renewed sense of how important it is to make caring a lifelong choice. Thank you for all that you've done. It was an honor serving you as your key club vice president for the last two years. Mehdi Maza. Ten years from now, when I look back at my high school years, Ms. Ayub will be the one person I remember most. Ms. Ayub did not simply teach me a subject. She, she was someone I found comfort in, and someone I hope to always be a part of my life. Her impact goes far beyond just academics, as she has truly helped shape me into the person I am today, and for that, I'm grateful beyond words. Thank you, Ms. Mm -hmm. 
Maya Mock. Today I chose to honor my 11th grade AP Link teacher, Ms. Howell, because she's more than an amazing teacher who helped me grow as a writer and a thinker. Even though I've always had big shoes to fill, Ms. Howell always saw me as an individual and recognized my potential even when I failed to myself. She always went out of her way to help, even looking over my college essays during hectic classes and parent-teacher conferences. I truly can't thank her enough for all the time, wisdom, guidance she's given me, and for believing in me, even when I didn't even believe in myself, and for increasing my knowledge and interest in zodiac signs. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Kaylee Mullen. I have the pleasure to honor Ms. Durfee tonight because of what AP Lit has become in my life. It's usually a class that many seniors take out of necessity. It's the logical next step after taking AP Lang. But throughout the year, it's become so much more. It's been the class that I look forward to every day, from our meaningful class discussions to our family Fridays every, or family Friday dinners every week. This class has been the highlight of my day every day for the past year, and it's all thanks to her dedication to her students, not just academically, but on a personal level. And to Ms. Derby, even though I accidentally insulted you, you do look good in green. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Mustafa Montahar. Hello, everyone. Today I'll be honoring a great friend of mine, Mr. Nag. Mr. Neg is a man I've spent a great amount of time with, whether it be on the tennis courts or in class. I'd like to just thank him for uh, pushing me to be the best person I could be, and he's and, uh, and his honor being a student. Your tennis skills are unmatched, and your teaching is even better. Thank you. Amir Nasser. Good evening, everybody. It is my pleasure to honor my DCMSD teacher, Mrs. Kimberly Shaver. She is one of the most dedicated and caring teachers I have ever met. Uh, my junior year is when I took advanced placement computer science with her. And a few weeks prior to the AP exam, she used to give me and my fellow classmates two free response questions for practice every day for two weeks straight. Uh, thinking at the time that it was a hassle, now I can't imagine the devo what kind of devotion she could have had, she must have had, in order to do, in, it, in order to grade 70 free response questions a day. I had never felt more confident walking into an AP exam because of her. I truly think, I am truly thankful for her passion for teaching and all the classroom and life lessons she was able to bestow upon me. Mrs. Shaver is not only the epitome of a great teacher, but of a human being. Thank you. Bushra Nasser. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to honor Ms. Heba Abubeki. Even though she wasn't my teacher, uh, I've known her this year, and she gave me inspiration, hope, and guidance, not only to me, but also to the school. Thank you. Rima Nasser. Hi, my name is Rima Nasser, and I'm here to honor my seventh grade English teacher, Ms. Wiedek. I've always remembered Ms. Wiedek as a patient teacher willing to sacrifice her free time to provide help to anyone who requested it. She never failed to motivate me and create a classroom setting that made me feel comfortable and welcomed. I'd also like to recognize her for helping me strengthen my reading and writing skills a skill that's essential to any career you enter. I appreciate all she's done for me. Yes, me, Nasser. This evening, I'm honoring Ms. Gass for helping me throughout my senior year and always encouraging me to do my best. Thank you for being such an amazing friend and always believing in me. Heidi Newman. Ms. Patrick and I have grown as teacher and student throughout these three years. We've developed an almost secret language between us as two people that learn from each other often do. And I've been extremely lucky to learn from such a strong and confident woman. Thank you for being my mentor, Ms. Patrick. 
Nor Nasebi. Good evening. I'm grateful for meeting someone as intelligent and outgoing as Mr. Babu, and will always remember everything he has done for me. Not only is he a teacher, but also a mentor. He pushed me to my full potential, and thanks to him, I'll be, always be reminded how blessed I am to be Palestinian. Hassan Reda. Hello, my name is Hassan Reda, and this is Ms. Ayub. Ms. Ayub was never my teacher. She fulfilled a spot that no other teacher has ever fulfilled before. She was my mentor at times of need, and she was also my friend at all times. Whenever I needed her, she was there. And for that, I'm thankful for knowing her, and thank you for everything, Ms. Ayub. <laughs> Han Rizka. Hello, my name is Hind Riska, and today I am here to honor my math teacher, Mr. Dix. I am thankful to Mr. Dix because he taught me that if I'm ever struggling with something or I'm having a hard time, that I should never give up and I should always keep going forward. So thank you, Mr. Dix. Fatima Rizvi. Hello, everyone. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge my parents for sacrificing their body and soul for the sake of my success. Next, um, I'd like to honor Mr. Hargreaves for being such a knowledgeable teacher beyond the realms of just chemistry. But today I'd like to present him with the best motivational speaker award as well as the most skilled lecture award. And by lecture, I don't mean class lecture, but like lecture lecture. Um, but Mr. Hager has really helped me recognize the ability in me and uh, helped me build my confidence, not only in chemistry, but in, sh in speaking up and sharing my thoughts with others. And he did this by constantly picking on me and putting me on the spot, <laughs> which I have to admit I hated, but it proved to be beneficial in the long run. Um, I always found his class very interesting and very entertaining. It was truly a pleasure. Thank you and happy retirement, Mr. Hager. Aya Saab. Okay, um, I'd like to thank my parents mostly for everything that they do for me. And I'd also like to thank um, Ms. Shum, my freshman teacher. She inspired me to work hard and take things seriously my, um, during freshman year. And um, she, she always um, wanted us to stay on top of things. And she was always constant, like, constantly like, pressured by students like, to, to always like, motivate them. And, um, she made sure every student was okay and she was always there for us. Thank you. Patty Saab. Hello, my name is Hattie Saab and I'd like to recognize and honor Mr. Hargreaves, my AP chemistry teacher. Being a student at Mr. Hargreaves classroom for over two years has been the honor of my lifetime. I'd like to thank him for all his contributions to my education. Uh, Mr. Hargis repeatedly stated that his role in our classroom was more than to teach us chemistry. And now as a graduating senior, I finally understood what he meant. After 18 years of teaching chemistry, Mr. Hargis will officially retire this year. And we are extremely saddened as he is truly irreplaceable. Mr. Hargraves, you can't change your mind. <laughs> Noel Saab. Saab. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Nawal Saad, and today I would like to honor my Arabic teacher, Dr. Hammami. I had the honor for having her as a teacher for two years, and through her dedication and hard work she had helped me achieve my goal in receiving the seal of literacy. I truly miss having an instructor who had helped me achieve, who helped, helped me achieve my goals, and I truly thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hammami. Iman Sakur. Tonight, I'd like to recognize a very special person to me, my counselor, Mrs. Armstrong. Ever since the seventh grade, Mrs. Armstrong has pushed me to strive for the best and reach out to, give, to, ever, to take every opportunity given to us. Because of the effort she has put into my education, I will always strive for the best in every effort I get. Thank you for all the opportunities and challenges that you have taken on with me. 
Fatima Sala. Good evening, everyone. My name is Fatima Sala, and today I'm honored to recognize Mr. Dix. I had Mr. Dix for almost three years, and through these years, he encouraged me to do my best and pushed me, uh, and pushed, uh, pushed me to my full potential. And today, I would like to thank him. Thank you. Nishmadeen Sala. Today I would like to honor Mr. Murray. Mr. Murray has inspired and motivated me in many ways. Therefore, he taught me that work, hard work pays off and that dedication is the key to success. Therefore, he made a great impact on my life and has always been very supportive and kind-hearted. Thank you. Zahra Shafa Harasani. Did I get it right? Oh, no, one before. Oh, sorry. Onur Sala. I would like to honor my 10th and 11th grade teacher, Mr. Dix. He has truly inspired me to become the person I am today. And out of the four years of high school, the one thing I'll never forget is the unconditional support I have received from Mr. Dix. So thank you for being my teacher, my family, and my friend. Sahra Shafa Harasani. Did I get it right? <laughs> no. Help me out. <laughs> Today I would like to honor Ms. Fahas, the person who was teaching Ms. al Qadri how to say my last name before this event. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from being an incredible teacher, Ms. Fahas is an incredible person. She is one of the most compassionate, caring, and positive people I know, and I one day aspire to be even a fraction of the person that she is. Thank you. Beza Shajra. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I am honoring my chemistry teacher, Dr. Gillies. Although I've known her for only a semester, it seems, as, it seems as if I've known her forever. She's an amazing teacher who loves and cares for her students. Thank you for everything. Sunda Shajra. Um, hello, everyone. Today, I'm honoring my 10th and 11th grade math teacher, Mr. Dix. He is an amazing teacher and who supports and truly cares for his students. I couldn't have asked for a better teacher. Thank you. Dania Shammy. Good evening, everyone. Um, today, I am honoring Mr. Dix. Um, <laughs> Um, Mr. Dix, you truly are the most amazing teacher I've ever had, <laughs> and I greatly appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Raja Sharif. So tonight, I'm honoring my 11th grade language arts teacher, who I can confidently say has succeeded in preparing me for college in the real world. Thank you, Mrs. Derby. Khalil Shato. So it's a good thing I have a time limit, otherwise I could go on forever about how Ms. Ayub affected me in such a positive way. Ever since my sophomore year of high school, I would always tell Ms. Ayub that I would pick her for superintendent's night. Three years later, and my decision hasn't changed. Miss Ayub was not only a teacher, she was my mentor, giving me life, life lessons I would forever hold on to. It's an honor standing here. It's an honor. <laughs> take it, take it 
deep breath. Take a deep breath. Losing your breath. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, Kato. It's an honor standing here talking about such a warm hearted and genuine person. You're the best, Missy. Thank you for everything. Adwa Salami. Tonight, the person that I am honoring is someone that I want to become like one day, Dr. Gillies. I'm honoring her because she went far in life and got her doctorates, and she is a woman, and it's very, it's such an amazing thing for women to reach that far of a standard, and that's a standard that one day I want to reach as well. And she was, she's a very kind woman, woman and I was, I was always so amazed at how great of a person she is and how nice she was to everyone, even if I'm not that nice of a person either. <laughs> and one day I would like to reach that type of kindness as well. We must made it. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Frady for not only helping me and my sister through our academic years at Fortson, but by also being a great support through our really harsh times. Thank you so much. You. I'm Natasha. Hello, everyone, and good evening. I would like to thank my teacher, Ms. Howell. She has um, helped me so much, and in the beginning of last year, as only a junior, I didn't know the true value of writing and appreciating what writing with meaning actually meant. And your influence on my high school career has been very significant and extremely important to me as a person. You have taught me the meaning of responsibility and understanding through your work ethic and teaching. I couldn't be happier at the ideals you've taught me, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a successful student in your class. Your guidance and continued support has brung me where I am today. I will never forget the values I learned in your class. Once again, thank you. Ali Tarhini. Good evening. It is my, my pleasure to honor Mr. Salami with a poem I wrote. When I started school, the stay seemed so far away. Now it's here and I can't believe it. That time has passed by so quickly. But through your encouragement and your guidance, I feel like I'm ready for tomorrow's challenges. Teachers like you <laughs> play such an important part in shaping and guiding students like me on the pathway to more success. Your selfless personality puts your students at the top. And for everything you, you have done, I and everyone in this room applaud you. Mr. Salami, thank you so much for being my teacher, my mentor, and above all else, my friend. Thanks. Janine Thompson. Hello, everyone. Tonight, I would like to thank and honor a woman who has been many of our teacher, Ms. Borio. She was my fifth grade teacher, and even though it's been almost a decade since I've been in her classroom, she has still helped influence my academics, my community service, and many of my values. And she has been one of my greatest motivators, next to my mother, who I'm also extremely thankful for and would like to thank as well. So thank both of you. <laughs> Ayat Yusuf. Good evening. Today, I would like to honor my AP Bayou teacher, Ms. Fahas. Ms. Fahas was not only a teacher, but a leader who led me to understand that every student must take a challenge and fight through it. She allowed me to, she allowed me to realize that my failures will only make me a stronger person in life. Today, I stand as determined students that will not shy away from difficult aspects of life, but instead to fight through them. Ms. Fahas was not only a teacher, but one of my greatest role models I have ever had. Thank you so much. Thank you. And finally, Ali Zabi. Good 
Good evening, guys. I'd like to start off by clapping it up for Chilo one more time. Now, as for you, three years. I've been coming to your class every single day for three years. You've provided me with knowledge about history, psychology, and life. You've guided me through world wars, uh, the human brain activity, and most importantly, my personal hardships. I can laugh with you, I can talk to you, and I can cry to you. And for that reason, I'd like everyone here to know that she's not only an amazing teacher, but she's my second mom. Love you. Thank you from Florida.